So yesterday I was at the DMV and was having a really bad day. So after the DMV, I decided to go to a Goodwill and then a Crossroads, of which I don't shop at often, but every once in a while I like to see what's out there. So I went in a Crossroads. I was obviously like not in a great mood and everything. Um, but I was like looking through stuff and there was a lot of stuff that was half off. It seemed like none of their stuff was really like selling that well. Um, I went over to the purse section there was a bunch of different Damien Burks and I found this one that was half off. So I was excited. I tried it on, I thought it was cute. I didn't do too much looking at it. I've been wanting one for a while. They usually sell between 30 and $60 second hand. Um, the pricing was on point. It was 42. All of the Damien Burks were the same price. This one just happened to be half off because it had been probably sitting or just was a different style. Um, then when I got home and went to go clean it, I noticed there was some serious issues. Um, so in her purse, there was like this double flap one. And the first thing that I found out, and it looks like really, really like it looks nice. It's got the nice hardware. It's got all the brass colors. Like it seems legit, the stitching's really nice. Um, but I started to notice some issues with it. So first of all, when you open it, there's actually a tag that says made in China. Um, second of all, the suede, I had seen the suede in the store, so I went like this, you know. Um, the suede is actually tan. It does not match the color of the leather, of which the leather should always match the interior. If it's a black leather bag, it needs to be black inside. So this is actually tan. Um, it's kind of looking gray in here, but it's it's tan. Second of all, it's lined. Um, Damien Burks are never actually lined. And what should have really told me was how stiff it is. Like there's no movement in it. It's very, very stiff. Um, their bags are very flimsy. Like I said, it wasn't looking, it was very close. <laughs> the other thing is that I try to look for comps on this bag. It's like a double flap bag. Um, they don't make this bag. So that was a telltale sign. Also on the brass hardware, there should, should say brass on it. It doesn't anywhere. It's kind of cheap. It was the right color, but it's too cheaply made. Um, there was some definite things, but like it looked decent. Like there was, you know, decent things to it. Um, but when I couldn't find, the, when I saw the Made in China and then could not find the bag at all, this exact bag, like, the universe are pretty easy to find. I was like, there's something wrong. So then I started to look at all these things and there was a lot of signs though. I didn't think about it because when you go somewhere like Crossroads, like a buy, sell, trade store, you think that they look at these things, you know, you don't expect to need to look at them. I just saw you know, it was a cute bag, a cute crossbody bag. And I was like, okay, this is cute. Oh, you know, um, I didn't look at it um, very good. So that was my mistake, but hopefully now, you know, I, I mean, definitely if it's like a designer thing, then I look at it and stuff like Louis Vuitton or Gucci or something like that. But I didn't know that people were making fake duty and perks, like, I know they resell for kind of high, even at thrift stores, they always want at least $30 for it and they'll be in rough, rough condition. I've seen 60, I've seen all sorts of prices at thrift stores. Um, so I know that they, they have some value to them, but they're not like designer designer. So I had no idea that they were counterfeiting them. And I guess after researching it more, fake Jenny and Burks are <laughs> a very, very big thing. So just beware when you're looking for it there are telltale signs as i mentioned the fact that there's a made in china sticker should have been my first one the thickness of the leather that is not pliable that is a telltale sign the leather color and the suede inside color not matching that's not real and just all those other little things that it doesn't have the brass thing i did read somewhere that they said that they stopped making the made in usa patch inside of it but all the things that I was seeing online didn't say anything about what it says now but it's still not having the other things and it wouldn't say made in China 
So that was definitely on me. I'm gonna go take this back. There, I know the last time I was in there, there was a 14 day return policy, but I think they should take this back because it is fake. I mean, they were selling it for 42.50, of which they were selling for all the other Junian Burks. Um, they obviously thought it was real. It just sat for a little bit longer, so it became half off. So they should take it back. If they don't, then we're gonna have an issue. Um, but I think they should, being as that this is so obviously fake. And even at, you know, I paid like $23 after tax for it. Even at that price, I'm not buying a fake bag. So just so you guys are aware of this and you guys know some tips and tricks, um, I definitely wish that I knew this before I picked this up. So be careful when you're out there, you are looking for these things. Um, they're even counterfeiting Dunia Burke, so, you know, you just never know. So just so you guys can see, here's a closer look at this bag. I'm not sure if this light behind me is helping or hurting it, um, but it looked pretty real. Now that I'm looking at, this is actually yellow. I don't think that should be yellow, but the color does match this, of which it's supposed to, it's always supposed to match the stitching, but I don't think they do yellow. I think it's a tan. So I think that's another telltale sign, but it was a very cute, it seemed like a well-made bag because it's so sturdy and stuff. Um, no, it should not be sturdy. It's like very sturdy. They also have never made a closed clasp bag before. So that should have been another telltale sign. Um, the lining, I mean, it was gross. Someone obviously had this for a while. The fact that the suede, you can't see it right here, but it's actually tan. It's tan, not gray. All of these things should just really tell you. Not real but i did not look at it very closely i saw that it was in decent condition it was half off thought it was cute on so i'm very sad that i did in fact get scammed on this so that really sucks i am sad though because look how cute it is it would have been a very cute bag so i am pretty sad about it but i am not gonna support counterfeits so we're gonna go return it. All right, so a little update. Um, the purse ordeal was actually much more of an ordeal than I thought it was. So I went back, I explained that the purse was fake, I didn't want it. The person who I was at the cashier tried to call someone and was waiting for them and then another cashier came to return it and she was only gonna give me store credit and I didn't think that was fair when I purchased a bag that I assumed was real and I don't shop at Crossroads much. Um, you may be thinking it's only $20, but for me, it's the principal and I just wanted my money back. I just bought it yesterday, you know, thinking it was real and stuff and I got duped. So um, she's like, well, you can talk to the assistant manager or whatever. And then he's like, we only do store credit and blah, blah, blah. And like, he was very rude about it and stuff. And he's like, I don't know. I, I didn't find the way that he was treating the situation any better than what she had said she was even more rude but and then I was like you know what I just I don't want store credit like I just want my money back like I wasn't being mean I was just like it's obviously fake you know I didn't look at it because I assume that you guys did your due diligence you know um I don't think that I should be penalized for that you know I was like I was having a bad day like I was going quick yeah but I just assumed and then finally after all that, I've had to explain this multiple times and being like, we can only do this, da, da, da. Then finally he got like the head lady who was actually in charge of the store. She came, I didn't have to say much. And she was like, just give her her money back. Like the last lady was like, she understood, like she got it. Like it didn't have to be this big deal. So I had to go through all these different hands. I was like, that was literally the fourth person. And you know, she understood like it, you know, it shouldn't have happened and stuff. Um, so I'm happy that I did get my money back. I guess the return policy for Crossroads, which I didn't know. The last time I was in there, I swear they said 14 days, but it was a long time ago. I only go there about, I've only been there twice in the last like five years. So um, yeah, there's time was like a year ago that I went there. And so now the return policy is seven days and they give you a store credit. Um, but I think that was fair. So they did end up giving me that back. It was a hassle. I was like shaking because I was like so scared because they were like so like da, da, da. oh and I was like it's just fake. I didn't want it. Um, but I got my money back for that. That was good. And then I ended up 
doing a surprise thrift video so you can go watch that one um afterwards it's the surprise thrift with me it was at my favorite the salvation army so luckily my day turned around but it did take me a couple days to come back and tell you guys what happened just because it was a lot to deal with and i wasn't really in a great headspace to talk about it so we did get it all settled i got my money back um but really be careful when you're out there and really look for these things you know i had no idea that they were making fake junior burks but hopefully this video explained to you what you can look for because i didn't know all these things you know um now i know so now you know do be careful at buy sell trade stores they don't look at everything um so don't think that just because it's there it is real like i did so please learn from my mistakes i hope this was helpful and i hope you guys have a great day Bye.